Let's check out the new direct mount optic from Hollow Sun. Welcome back everybody, it's the Chang. We're gonna be talking about the Hollow Sun SCS in a moment. But first, if you could hit that like button and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon to the right, we'd really appreciate it if you could help the channel grow. So let's go ahead and get into this uh, Holosun SCS. So this is a newer product from Holosun. It is meant to go ahead and direct mount to your Glock MOS system without having to get an adapter plate like the C and H weapons system uh, adapter plate, which I've done a review on. I'm a big fan of these uh, when we're running regular Holosuns on the MOS system, but uh, Holosun designed the site to sp specifically the bolt right here. So we'll get into that in a second. Um, I will put a video on uh, my install and or I'll put a, a card here, probably right around here somewhere, uh, to the videos that I've done for the uh, CNH Precision Weapons Systems. Uh, and this is the Defender uh, plate. So let's go ahead and get in here. All right, when we get into the box here, of course, the over wrapping's been taken off. Um, slides out, typical hollow sun, nice plastic packaging, everything's well packaged. And what we have in here is our warranty registration card. We get our owner's manual. We get the site, cloth, your screws, and we get our installation tool slash uh, <clears throat> site adjustment tool. And that's going to be that in there installation tool technically over here uh, but we are going to have to torque this down so put the cloth back leave the screws out <clears throat> and uh, there you go and you can see here on the site get that to focus there there's the uh, solar panel there um, some amazing uh, claimed hours uh, if we look in the owner's manual you will actually see that they're claiming 200,000 hours of battery life. Um, so, kind of cool. All right. So, no need for battery. And <clears throat> we take a look at my site, uh, my slide here. I'm running stock height sites. So, let's go ahead. Looks like the installation is going to be pretty straightforward. Uh, we're going to remove the Glock MOS plate right here. So, I've got a T10. Should fit. Go ahead and spin that off. one there's screw number two <clears throat> and the plate should just come off now there's a bunch of grease and oil and stuff like that so we're gonna definitely want to degrease that so you can use acetone uh, I use standard rubbing alcohol q-tip that on there and I really don't need to decrease the plate but I'm going to do that anyway because this is going in storage and I want to try to get down into the threads there a little bit as much as I can there because the screws dump do come with Loctite from Hollow Sun and we want to make sure there's nothing interfering with that fit there so uh, we're going to let this evaporate and we'll be right back. All right, so that uh, rubbing alcohol is relatively uh, dry here, so uh, we'll let it continue to dry while we'll talk here. So these are the stock screws right here from the MOS. And if I compare them in size, they are relatively the same size to the screws that Holosun includes. So I'm going to set those two aside and I'm going to put them here off the side here. So I'm going to get these screws opened and get them out in the trash. Now, we take a look at these hollow sun screws. You notice they do come with a bit of blue Loctite on them, and that's what they recommend is non-permanent Loctite. Now, before we um, mount any optic, we wanna make sure we dry fit it first. So, you see how well that fit, that just fits right on there, and it actually locks into place. So the internal cuts there actually match the MOS. Uh, MOS cuts as well. So, very, very nice. So, we'll get that dry fit on. 
feels pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and get um, the two screws in. There's the first one. I'll start with with the supplied tool just so that I'm not tempted to over torque with this T-handle wrench. Um, so I'm going to get the first one in. Seems to be, seems to be just finger snug. Go ahead and see how well, can't angle that in, doesn't stick. So we'll just kind of line that up there. So we'll get those screws to bite. There we go. that screwed in. If you find this boring, you know, fast forward about a couple seconds there. All right, so I have these finger tight. The owner's manual says 15 inch pounds. So I'm gonna get my T10 bit, get it into my uh, fix-it sticks. I uh, fix-it stick torque limiter here. I have a review on these. I really love this product. Uh, much nicer than the Wheeler product, which I have done reviews on both of these. Um, again, I'll put a link to that up in the card right up in there. You get a good view of my finger there. Um, so I want to take this, according to the owner's manual, up to the 15-pound mark, which is right there. So coming in at a slight angle. Hopefully this doesn't strip. As I'm coming in at that angle, but you can see we're getting close to that 15 mark, and there we are. All right, try it on this one. Okay, there's that 10 mark. Really close to the 15 here. Just trying not to strip out the screw since I'm coming at an angle. 15. All right, now um, I'm gonna let that sit for a couple seconds and I'm gonna go get the uh, staking tools. Um, all right, just so you guys see, there's the circle dot. And of course the way the, the way the camera is focusing, it's focusing on the, uh, the rear side. It's not really giving you that focus on the on the dot, but you can also see that I can see those stock height sights, co-witness them through the window. So pretty cool stuff. Um, so anyway, back to uh, the staking thing at, the thing that we're gonna do is staking at hand again, I take my uh, oil-based Sharpie and um, make sure it writes, good. And all I'm doing is I'm going in here to the the bolts or the screws and I'm going to draw a line or a circle around them right around there all right and what I'm doing and this is according to the CNH folks the engineers over at CNH is when I do that with this oil based pen you know uh, even though we have Loctite on the screws the uh, oil based pen uh, the ink here or the paint as it were it will actually kind of leak into the, the, the seam and still provide a little bit more sealing and a little bit more hold power there to prevent things from moving around. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry and uh, check this out again. That's pretty freaking cool. All right, we'll be right back. We'll let that dry and then we'll finish out the staking process. All right, so this is dried. We're gonna come back here and witness mark these. So you see I have one done, I have one done right here and basically it's taking this paint pen making a line on the body of the site and getting that line to also go on the body of the screw so that if they start to move, you'll actually be able to see it. 
So this thing is pretty much put together, ready to go. Um, you guys can see, that you can co-witness the sights. Oh, sorry, messing stuff up there. All right, there you go. So we're gonna get this out the range, show you guys. Uh, we'll probably put a couple hundred rounds on it and see if anything loosens up and see uh, what my thoughts are on the site itself. We'll be right back. All right, so I got this out to the range. It was a real easy thing to zero. It does come uh, from the factory, they say at a 25 year zero, yard zero generally. I uh, didn't have to do that many adjustments to get it zeroed. Um, real easy to zero positive clicks on the adjustments. Um, just like any other hollow sun site was pretty cool to see my stock sites through the, the hollow sun. So I really enjoyed that. Um, I'm excited to get, uh, more rounds through this. This will probably turn into my teaching gun. Uh, since I'm really having trouble seeing the front sight now that my eyes, I've gotten older. Um, and I will report back to everyone when I've got uh, a lot more rounds through this. Uh, and it's a brand new gen five 17 MOS as well. So we'll talk about that. So, um, hopefully you enjoyed the video thanks for hanging out and hanging around and listening to me talk um i appreciate your time love to have you subscribe to the channel please give us a thumbs up and a subscribe hit that bell notification icon to the right so that you'll be notification notified of any new stuff that we might post stay safe and we'll see you out on the range